men hockey team, the Carolina Thunderbirds, has been on an impressive winning streak the last couple of games. They've won eight of their last ten, and this weekend they're going to be hosting the Mississippi Sea Wolves right here in Winston-Salem. Well, it sounds like a lot of fun. And joining us now is Kerry Ross. He is the Vice President of Hockey Operations and an ownership partner with the Carolina Thunderbirds. Thanks for joining us, Kerry. Thanks for having me, appreciate it. Absolutely, I, I've always said, let me just say right out of the gate, that of, of all, I'm a big consumer of, of sporting events, and I think hockey is one of those sports that you get so much more out of it seeing it live mm -hmm. than you do on seeing it on television. So let me get into our first question though. For, for new fans, for non-hockey fans, talk about something uh, that this weekend that, that everybody will enjoy. Well, typically a hockey game is uh, very fast paced, a lot of action going on. Um, we've been very fortunate this year that our Thunderbirds have been a very high scoring team. So hopefully uh, a new fan will see a lot of goals. Um, we have a lot of stuff going on during TV timeouts where we'll do a t-shirt toss or we'll do trivia questions. Um, we have three mascots uh, running around, uh, so kids get pictures with the mascots. Uh, in between periods, we do, we have a custom Zamboni where we do rides um, around the rink on <laughs> Zamboni. Uh, in between second and third period, we do uh, what we call Chuck a Puck, and you, you could win prizes uh, throwing a puck out on the ice. Um, we work uh, pretty closely with the youth Thunderbirds. So in between uh, some of the periods, we'll have the kids come out and we'll do a little mini game with the kids. Uh, we have a military tribute every game. So there's a lot of stuff going on. And on Saturday nights, uh, we, do, uh, we do a tailgate before the game. So we have bands out there and uh, you know, you get to meet some of the players. Um, there's some of the players are, are healthy scratches. So those guys are out there working with the kids, uh, teaching them how to shoot and having a good time. That's great. Wow. Ooh. How fun to have the meet and greet experience yeah. too before you, you know, before you watch the game. Carrie, do you guys have like a different theme each weekend? What is it like implementing the um, ideas for the fan experience? So we do have uh, um, sponsors that um, are have their nights. So we do a, a cancer night, we do a healthcare night, we did a, um, a military on Veterans Day. Uh, we're doing something for Special Olympics. Uh, so we do we do have a lot of things going on. Um, but what we do when we to come up with new ideas. Uh, my wife and I just moved down here to Winston-Salem, uh, born and raised my whole life in Chicago. Uh, so it was a pretty big, big move for us to come down here. Uh, my partner, who is also from Chicago, uh, we've been going to hockey games for a long time. So you see a lot of different things being done, some good, some not so good, uh, but we're willing to try things. The most unique thing though, being here is my wife and I walk around. We're we're pretty visible around the games. We go to all the games and we're very open to listening to fans' suggestions, feedback. You know, if they like something, let us know. If you didn't like it, let us know too. I well, we have a Carrie. We have a, a fellow Chicago in. I don't know what you guys call yourselves up north. <laughs> Chicago in is it? Chicago in yes. of Brian Slocum here, and it's funny that you say that because he got really excited thinking about it. But we know just how giant hockey is up north. It's not necessarily uh -huh. as much of a southern thing. But why did you think that the Triad would be the perfect place to bring uh, the Thunderbirds, or the Thunderbirds organization, hopefully to get people down here in the south a little bit more involved in the sport? So back in the 70s, the Polar Twins were here and they did very well. They drew quite a good crowd. Um, the league went away and the Polar Twins unfortunately went away as well. Um, in the 80s and early 90s, the Thunderbirds were here. And again, 
Uh, Winston was a great city for fans, and that league, um, the team moved and, uh, you know, they went away. So there was a big gap of no hockey in Winston. Uh, my partner approached Winston-Salem. Uh, the way we bring a new team into uh, a new area is we do um, what we call neutral site games, where two teams in the league will play in Winston-Salem and see how the fans like it. Um, Winston-Salem has been a great town for hockey. Uh, the neutral site game sold really, really well. We had uh, a lot of fans. Um, so in 2017, we started the current Thunderbirds. Our fan base here is fantastic. Um, the Federal Hockey League just had a, uh, a questionnaire go out, um, basically asking, you know, to vote for the best fans in the league, and our Th Thunderbird fans won it. So wow. really great, really That's fantastic great. fan base here. That's well, cool. congrats on your winning streak too, mm -hmm. Carrie. And thank you for joining mm -hmm. us this morning. It was great to hear from you. Come on back anytime. And folks at home, you have two chances to check out the Carolina Thunderbirds this weekend. To purchase your tickets and learn more about Saturday's tailgate, head to their website, carolinathunderbirds.com.